Hello guys, in today's video, I'll be talking about the curve fitting for the core loss model. Uh, I'm using the MetaEdit software this time. Uh, MetaEdit is a free engineering material editing software. Uh, it's available in webstream.com. You can directly download that and, uh, and use it. Mm, uh, the webstream also has uh, this same module. But uh, for the demonstration this time, I just uh, use the MetaEdit. Uh, it's a very lightweight. Uh, OK, let's uh, just start it. Uh, create a new material. Then double click, and we can see uh, the material library and uh, properties. So there are several uh, predefined materials, the core loss materials is here. So we can choose either one of them. Uh, also, you can build uh, by yourself. Uh, if you have your own test uh, data, you can just create by yourself. So since uh, this demonstration, we want to save the time uh, of the video. We just uh, use one of them from the predefined materials. So uh, I double click this for right material. Then we have uh, two properties loaded. One is the PP test data. It's data already in. Uh, we have five frequencies here. Each frequency has a data. Uh, for the curve, then you can click the header and see all these five curves. Okay. Then another property is a core loss model. So mm, the first property of core loss is model type. So the MetaEdit provides two types. One is electrical steel. It's a very classic model. Second is a power ferrite. It's basically uh, it's a stainless model. Uh, very famous and well used uh, core loss model. Okay, so we use this power ferrite. Then we add right button click and then we can add a curve fitting. Okay, there's a one property added here, it's curve fitting. Then we uh, right button click again. Then we have another two property, two options. One is a solve curve fit. Another one is copy calculated values to the property. So we can uh, do two steps. One first step is solve the curve fit. Second is uh, copy the values to the property. And that's it. So we solve first and it's done. Okay, then copy. So we can see all these values on the table since it's five frequencies. So um, uh, we, we, we need to look at this prop, the table, you know, all these um, uh, coefficients on the table. If there's only one frequency, uh, you will see all these values not only on the table but also on these property values. Okay. Okay. So we have all these uh, five frequencies. We can see the dot means the test data. The curve is the fitted value. Uh, so very close. Okay. Then we can click the header again and see all these five curves on one chart. Mm, sometimes for the uh, in the electromagnetic analysis, we need to look at uh, the logarithmic uh, uh, axis. So we click this log button. Then we can see all these uh, test data and the curves in the logarithmic uh, coordinates. So it looks uh, uh, the curve fits uh, very well. So. Uh, yeah, so it's very straightforward to fit the curve for the core loss model data. Then if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.